basically today's video is going to be a get unready with me and then a review because I picked up the new Maybelline Tattoo Brow. It is the Easy Peel Off Tint. Up to three days of color. So basically what this is, is something that you'll put on your eyebrows, you let it dry, you peel it off, and it's supposed to have tinted your eyebrows and the skin underneath your eyebrows. So it appears that your eyebrows are full, even not filling them in with a eyebrow product. Um, what does it say? Wake up to evenly filled brows. Our first peel off brow tint lasts up to three days. No touch ups needed. And then it says drying time. If you leave it for 20 minutes, it's not going to do much. You leave it for two hours, it'll be kind of like a light brown. If you leave overnight, it's going to be the very dark saturated brown that you see at the end here. If you leave it for the two hours, it's supposed to be the light brown for one day, but if you leave it overnight, that's what's supposed to last for three days. So I haven't even opened it yet. I hope it's not like empty and <laughs> bought a stolen product. <laughs> oh wow, this is a tiny product. This is the product size. Okay, let's see what it looks like. One second, do you want me to bring it like up to you guys and be like, look at this? Okay, one second, if I can open it. Oh, there we go. Okay, ready? I've never seen it before. Oh no. Oh no. It smells like Elmer's glue. That's my first thought of it. Is it like a Korean beauty product? Is that what it's supposed to be? Like, is it supposed to be something that it's like supposed to be like a natural finish type thing? I think everything's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna take a few more precautions than usual because I do not want this to really be bad. I don't want it to be a bad experience. Just get to taking off these, this makeup. Let's get to taking this all off. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay, so with this, the um, brow tint, I think I'm going to pick it up on a angled brush, but maybe first, oh, I really need, I need a mirror for this. One second, let me grab my mirror. I'm going to be looking over here right now just to apply the color onto, oh my lord. Ooh, is this supposed to be like saturated, saturated? Like, are my brows supposed to be like drowning in this? I really hope this isn't a flop. Does that look okay? Is that fine? Oh my God, I feel it drying on my face. I'm kind of scared now. Oh my God, it's peeling away now. Oh no, I guess it dries down. So if it dries down, then it peels away. There we go. Okay. I'll take that little piece that's peeling though. Please. Ew, it feels like glue too. Come here. Do I need to get a pair? There we go. The situation of my eyebrows look like right now. Since this is a get unready with me and a review, I'm going to finish my skincare routine and Tell you what I feel about it so far. Okay, I'll be right back. I have these amine thermal 
water and it's just a water with a bit of microflora and French thermal water. So this is good for atypical skin because it has the microflora in it and it just kind of wets my skin down. Then I'm going to be using the Drunk Elephant Best Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I'm just going to take a bit of that. I know, people probably think I'm weird, like you're doing your cleanser right at your vanity, like who does that? Like do that in the bathroom. But, I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be sure not to touch this eyebrow tint, which I totally forgot about until now. So perfect. So I'm going to put my Vinyl Perfect by Cod Caudalie. I'm going to put that on my face. It's a radiant serum, so it's supposed to brighten your skin. So basically that means it's just going to get rid of some uneven skin tone and all that. Of course you put your serums on first. I'm going to use the Sunday Riley CEO 15% vitamin C. I'm going to use that around my mouth area because my mouth area, it's just a lot of stuff going on that I just need to work on. And I'm using the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. So the polypeptide cream, it actually isn't like a cream texture, it's almost like a cream to gel texture. It's like a very, very light cream, which is actually very nice on my skin. It's good for young skin then, because if you use a super heavy cream when you have young skin, well, at least my skin, my skin is more prone to milia underneath the eyes if I use a very thick cream. So actually using this polypeptide cream, it doesn't affect milia or it doesn't cause me milia I should say and for my lips I put on this what is it called CO Bigelow Apothecaries Mentha Lip Shine it's a hundred percent natural mint and cinnamon so this is the cinnamon flavor my mint flavor one I lost during New Year's it has that bit of cinnamon and mint in it that kind of plumps your lips. So I also have a Vitri eyelash serum. So it's just supposed to help with the growth of lashes. It's dry now. When I rub my brows, I don't see anything come off. My hands, I'm sorry, they look so gross. So right now it's dry. It's um not doing much, it's just sitting there. I can't, like I don't want to take it off just in case it actually works, but it's also like, I can feel it, like, ooh, ooh. I don't want to like do too much because if it cracks, it might just have like these weird lines. I'll be like one of those people that have like the shaved part right here, but it will just be because it's not tinted. Um, I'm probably just going to be drinking a thing of tea, a little cup of tea, before I go to bed, and then I'll be right back to show you guys tomorrow morning what it's going to be like. So I will be right back. So I wanted to do the peel off for the video, but while I was sleeping, it actually peeled off itself, and I don't know where. All of it went but it all peeled off my brows so this is actually the final product if you guys want to see so let me get real close and real don't mind my under eyes so basically where I put the largest amount of product is what's tinted um, so, I'm not mad at it. It definitely filled in the parts that I wanted it to fill in. 
but the thing is it peeled off in the middle of the night so it doesn't stick super well to your eyebrows um when i woke up this morning this eye was actually so swollen and i wanted to film and show you guys but garrett was sleeping in the bed like for the longest time so i wasn't gonna like whip out and film while he was sleeping um but yeah this eye was so swollen you can't see it now but when i opened my eyes it was like <laughs> it was so bad so i actually kind of like took some cold like spoons and stuff and put it on my eye just to kind of fight the inflammation um but actually when i woke up when i touched my eyebrows i was kind of scared because they feel really soft to the point that i can't feel them so i almost thought that it ripped off my brows while i was sleeping because that's the first thing i did was like touch my brows when i woke up and i was like it feels like i don't have any eyebrows so right away I had to look and I noticed that, yeah, the gel came right off. So it's not like terrible. I might do a touch up tonight because this one looks really good. Like this one's all nice. But this one, this is the one that started peeling right away. Cause when I went to bed, I noticed that it was like peeling up here and it was loose. So I'll have to touch up this one. So I think it's like a touch and go type thing. So you'll just have to work at it for it to work the way you want. But actually, I feel like I don't need to wear an eyebrow product on this eye. So that's a plus. But I feel like if I clean it up a little bit, both of them could work really well. So when I go to bed tonight, I'm just going to touch up and then hopefully I won't have to do my eyebrows like every single day. This isn't a bad product. I'd probably give it like a 8 out of 10, definitely. It's not something like the smell. It definitely smells like glue to me. I made Garrett smell it. And once I told him like, I think I smell glue, he was like, yeah, that's what I smell too because it definitely smells like Elmer's glue, like white liquid glue. I'm just gonna fix it up with concealer and everything. And I'll do that in another video because I'm trying out two new products today. And yeah, that'll be my next video. So yeah, this is actually, I like it. It's not bad. Um. I'll let you guys know how long it lasts. I'll see you guys in my next video. Can you please like this video, thumbs it up, and hopefully subscribe. I'm not sure where the subscribe button is. I haven't done YouTube in so long.